Hi, this is Gary from Loyal Shops. This video is for paparazzi retailers that are just learning how to use the new Live Assistant Pro for doing live sales. Now we're gonna choose the Live Assistant Pro menu and then choose Live Dashboard. And the first thing I want you to notice is if you're a paparazzi retailer, you should see optimized for paparazzi retailers as you see. If you do not see this banner, then you need to go to settings, user settings, and change your company type to paparazzi and then choose save at the bottom and then resume this video at this spot. There is a pre-scan inventory for this live area and then a continue with Facebook. Consider this like step one and step two of getting ready for a live. The first step here is if you want to pre-scan inventory in order so that when we're in the live, we know more about that inventory and I'm gonna do some examples here. There are two key reasons why you're gonna to want to pre-scan inventory before you go live. One is you'll get an opportunity to change the claim item from something simple that we're giving you to your own number. And the reason why paparazzi retailers would wanna change the claim number is if you have a inventory tracking system where every single one of your items in your store has its own unique inventory number like 100, 101, 102, or as each individual type of jewelry. Some paparazzi retailers will do things like do E100 for earring 100 location. And that will be a sticker that's on the bag or container, as well as is actually a physical location stored in your home or business. And so we give you an opportunity to change that claim number into that inventory position. So that's option point one, where you may want to pre-scan your inventory. The second key one is if you want to add quantity. If you have more than one of something, you can tell us before the live that you've got a quantity of two, 10, 20, 50, or more. While you can do that during the live, it's disruptive for you to be constantly adjusting inventories on every item scanned where if you do the pre-scanning you can be completely focused on your customer and selling that'll be the best for your customer and i think for you as well less air prone and you'll be able to get through more products uh, in the time that your customers are willing to give you so i'm going to show you doing some pre-scanning the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to pick up my barcode scanner and we'll have a separate video on a little bit more about setting up the barcode scanner and some features of that and uh, and things to keep in mind while we're there this pre-scan box you'll also see during the live as well. And if you click outside of the actual video area, outside of your window, you'll see a red bar show up around this. And the reason why we show you this red bar is the barcode scanner will send barcode scans into whatever screen has the focus, which is the highlight in your particular computer or device. So if you click away from the Live Assistant Pro Live Dashboard window, you'll get this red bar. And while you have that red bar up, your barcode scanner will not send barcodes into your app. So you just need to touch or click anywhere in this window. It shows that this window now has focus again and your barcode scan will go into our application as you intended. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wake up my scanner. Uh, often you need to give your scanner a few seconds to wake up and then it should be good for the live. And I'm gonna scan a necklace here. All right, so we see here is this is barcode P2, S-E-P-R-X-X-163-X-X, mouthful. But all we did was one click on the actual necklace barcode that paparazzi supplies. And we could tell that it's a necklace, that it's a uh, color purple. Uh, it is uh, $5. We have a default quantity of one and it's a default claim number of 19. So if you wish to change that default 19 number to one of your easy inventory numbers, E100 for earring 100 or N100 because it's a necklace or 101, 200, N1000, whatever that makes sense. Maybe it's just every 1001 in that inventory location for necklaces. That's where you would make that change. The second is, is you look at that item that you just scanned and go, I've got five of these. I've got 10 of these. And what we've done here is you have two options to choose quantities. We put in here, you see here, one up to 15 in single digits because we think those are the most often used for many retailers. And then we jump up in 20, 25, 30, 40, 50 quantity. We don't include every single quantity here and maybe you have 21 
and not 20. So you can go up to this quantity area here and choose 21. Or if you have a huge amount of some supply, 100. Whatever you choose, you can put it in there. And then you can choose Add to Inventory. Now what you'll notice here is we've now added this item. It's item 1001 because that's the claim number we put in. Necklace, purple, here's the barcode, I have a quantity of 100 and they're $5 each. If I've made a mistake, I didn't mean to put 100, I meant to put 10, I can click on that again and then choose to put 10 here or just click that quick choice for quantity. Now what you notice there is when I actually hit those buttons, it just accepts the entry. All right, so I'm gonna scan another item, I'm gonna scan a ring. So I brought in this barcode, it's a ring, It's got a black color accent. It's claim number 18. It's $5 quantity one. And for this one, I'm going to leave the claim number as is, and I have quantity six. I'm going to barcode the next item. And what I'll do is I'm going to go through all of my items that I plan to sell on the live today. This is a set, a four piece set. I can change the claim number for one. It's $20 because it's a four piece set. And I have three of these. So I'll just hit three. Here's a hostess reward, and let's say you have two of these. And like I said, you could also have just hit this two right here, or you can just choose that custom number and then hit add inventory. Let's go a little bit further, uh, Z collection. So here's a Z collection necklace and earrings. It's the enticing silver is the one I barcoded. Claim number 11 by default, change it if you wish, $25, and I've got six of these. Here's a Life of the Party exclusive IP set for $25. And I've got four of these. A Starlit Shimmer set of quantity five rings. And that's a lower cost set. So there's five of them and all for a total of $5. And we'll say we've got five of those. As you can see here, we're building this list, this curated list for your live that you're about to do. We also support you being able to create your own sets and sell them inside of Live Assistant Pro. Available on our help page, we have pre-built barcode stickers that are built for sets of two, three, or four items of $5 each. And you can download and buy standard Avery return envelope stickers and print these barcodes out at your home or office. Put them on your own curated sets of two, three, and four, and then be able to then barcode those creative sets of yours during the live and be able to sell them just at the same ease of what you've got here. And so what I'll show you here is one of our custom barcodes for curated sets. This will be a set of three. As you can see here, curated set of three pieces, and it's $15. And you can say, I obviously have one of those, perhaps, because you just hand-built that set, and you hit Add Inventory. And now I've got a item, you know, claim number 26, curated set of three pieces, this barcode, and there's a quantity and price, one and $15. These numbers here, even if they're your numbers or our numbers, those are the actual claim item numbers. So if someone wanted to buy one of these curated set of three pieces, this is number 26. So they would reply sold 26 to buy this item. I've got 10 of these purple necklaces. If somebody wished to buy three of them, they could write sold 1001 and then a Q and then three and that would buy them three of those all at the same time. It's giving you a little insight of how that will work. I've shown you how to create a curated list of pre-scanned inventory to adjust for claim items and quantity. For example, if you only had quantity one of all items and you wanted to use our default claim item numbers, you probably wanna keep that claim item number written down with all of your items. If you did that, then you could skip pre-scanning it's only for items that you have quantity more than one, and if you wish to change the claim item numbers that you need to pre-scan inventory. Otherwise, if somebody brings up some item and you go and grab it and you scan it during the live, you still have the opportunity to increase that volume while you scanned it and even change the claim number if need be. That's all possible. Pre-scanning is a lot smoother for the bulk of your inventory.
uh, to keep you having a really good, straight, fast life. Now with that, I'm going to now choose the continue to Facebook. And I'm doing this just like you as the first time doing this. All right. Once you've done this one time, it gets to be faster. All right. Continue as your name. And you're going to choose, if you've got one business page, maybe you have 20 business pages that you're an admin for, uh, you'll just pick the ones that you are an admin for. I've got some test pages, so I will select those. You'll pick up picking your business page. And then if you go live on people's platforms or other business pages, you can go back onto this page and add more at any time later. Now, it asks me what permissions are allowed, which is basically for us to get your email and be able to help manage your page as far as reading comments from the live and posting comments on your behalf in the live. You want to leave all of these checked, so you just hit done. All right, and now we're linked. Our inventory is loaded that we just created. Uh, we have a texting system, so if you set up your text to be able to actually uh, send out a text to your customers with the description and the link to your live, it will show you here, otherwise this won't be here. By default, you want us to be able to respond in the live with comments. You leave this comment response in live almost always. And then here is where you pick what page, and that page is going to show up the ones that you've chosen. I'll pick test page five. And now what it's going to do here is it's a choice here to wait for my live to start. And if I click this, it will just sit there and wait for the live. Once it sees the live start, this live dashboard screen will actually convert into your selling live dashboard. Or you can start your live first, and once the live starts on this page that you've chosen, the live will show up here as an option, and then you can click on it. All right, so I've started a live, and what you're going to see is once the live actually starts inside Facebook, this looking for a new live video will actually show me waiting for that live to start. All right, so now we actually see that I'm here waiting for my live to start. And it shows me that the little red dot means that there's a video that's live, live now. It's uh, This is June 11th at 10.38 a.m. And the description in the video was Live Assistant Pro demo video showing how to pre-scan for inventory and setup. Otherwise, it would be whatever you've written for your live. And it still looks for other videos in case you're on a page that has multiple uh, retailers going live at the same time so that you all know that uh, if two or three people start the lives at the same time, you'll know which live is yours and which live is theirs so you don't click on someone else's. All right, so now I can actually click on my live. And here we go. What you see here is our Live Assistant Pro logo. This is our live dashboard screen. Uh, this red ring means that Live Assistant Pro sees that you're currently live. It'll go to teal when you're not live. This is the profile logo for the page that you're currently on. It's our little hello here for our test page. If you go live on many different pages, we're going to show you that profile ID for all your different lives. So you'll just be able to quickly know on a, a live by live which page you were on. We also give you the opportunity, since we, we know how much your items cost, as you're live, it'll show how many items have been claimed. And it'll show you how much dollar amount has been claimed as well. And it says Live Assistant Pro is ready for your first claim. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scan my first item. And remember what we talked about with that red bar? So I want to click back in here, and then I can scan my first item for my sale. That first item for that sale is that 1001 necklace for $5, purple, available 10. All right, at the bottom, there's this blue bar, and we're going to scroll that up some just to give you some help. This is actually here as a just-in-case. This is all of the comments that are going on in the live. We record all comments, by the way, with Live Assistant Pro so that even after the live, you can go back and find out exactly who said what and when, who claimed what and when. If you need to double check something with a timestamp, it's all done here. So you can see here is we've got a, our default welcome comment that happens every time that you start your live. And you can adjust this in Live Assistant Pro settings. So we brought up this product for sale. The comment actually showed up in the live for the customer to purchase that item. 
and I'll just do this off screen so you've seen it one time. I'm going to do sold 1001 and I'll do quantity two. And what we're going to see here is that since I was actually buying as the page, it shows up as my test page as the name. This will be your customer's name. And that's 1001 and necklace. And it shows that there's two here. And what you'll notice is the blue dots. This is blue dot eight. That means you have eight quantity available. And as there were 10, one of those blue dots goes here for this claim. And the second blue dot goes here for this claim. All right, we have a second person going to purchase also a 1001 necklace. All right, so you can see here now a third. Misty has claimed an item. She gets a blue dot as well. And now we have a quantity of seven. If you realized you actually had more at one point in time, you can actually click on the quantity and increase it by clicking here. Just wanted you to see that. All right, we'll do one more scan. And we have quantity of three of this item. So I'm going to have Misty buy sold 16. All right, so both Misty and the page bought one each, and there's one left. Let's go ahead and move on to another item. I'm going to scan something that I hadn't previously scanned, and it'll come up with quantity one. All right, so this is item number 20. It's a Z collection necklace and earring, $25. The monumental silver and turquoise is the colors, and there's a quantity of one of these. So I'm going to have a purchase happen. And two people are going to try to purchase this. And what we'll see is a difference here. Notice that we have quantity one. Now it went to quantity zero because we actually ran out. And what we can see is the second person who tried to claim, Misty, did not get the item. She's on the wait list for the item. And so that becomes a red dot. And so that red dot means that she's next in line. If, for example, 20 was to be passed by this person, then Misty would be given that item. So why don't we go ahead and show that. I'm going to have the page pass that item. Loyal Shops had 20. It's been removed. And Misty, who was on the wait list, has now been given the item. All right, I just wanted to give you a quick introduction of how to pre-scan and set up your initial live and start live selling. We'll have more detailed videos to come. Thank you very much.